Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create a stylish text animation in Adobe After Effects like this one. So support me on this one, like the video, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I'm starting with a basic composition. Feel free to use your own setting, but the entire duration of this animation is going to be six seconds. Then I am using a simple text font called Kristen. So search Google if you don't have this and then follow up on the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do right here is to pick the pen tool. Then make sure no layer is selected. Then I will carefully trace this letter C first. Now that we have it traced, make sure you set the fill to none. You can also do this before you start tracing and then set a stroke color that is contrasting to the layer and then hit OK. Now we need to do some adjustment to make sure this perfectly fits the letter C. Make sure you rename this to letter C and then move the anchor point to the center. This is very important. Then you're going to expand the stroke options. You go into content, then stroke. We're going to change the stroke line cap to rounded. Beautiful. So temporarily, we're going to hide this text, the remaining text. We're going to hide the text layer. And we're going to have this letter C right here. So what we're going to do now is to add a trim part. Follow this add and then add a trim part. Move your time indicator to about two seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the end property for the trim part. Then move back to zero and change the keyframe value to zero. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal the entire keyframe. Select your keyframe and easy is. Now, if you preview this now, this is what we have. Beautiful. Select this and change the color. I'm going to change it to somewhat light blue. Then what I'm going to do now is to control D on my keyboard to duplicate it two more times. Then I will offset it on the timeline like this. I'll select the center one and change the color to a different color somewhere like this. Then I'll change the last one to white. Feel free to use your own color, of course. So if you preview now, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. Select the top two layers and make it a child of the bottom one. This way, if we move the bottom one, we're going to have it move together. You see, if we move it, we're going to be using it to wiggle the text letter. Pick the ellipse tool. And make sure no layer is selected. Pull in if you have to and draw a little cycle like this. Then we're going to change the stroke color to none and set a fill color to a contrasting color because we need to see this. Make sure you keep renaming everything to keep everything organized. I'm going to simply hit S on my keyboard. I need this to be the size of the thickness of this font. So I'm going to scale this up a bit. Beautiful. This is OK. So I'm going to pull back. Then I'm going to move back to this point. I will hit P on my keyboard and set a position. Then move back to zero and move the position to somewhere out like this. What I'm going to do now is to work on this handle. So I'm going to simply set the handle like this and set this one like this. Feel free to set yours. This is just to create a spline to change the spline movement. So I'm going to go forward so that I can see how my C is. I just want this to key in as if it hit this. So you just have to adjust it till it's, it is fine. 
so we're just gonna leave this for the purpose of this tutorial like this if you preview now this is what you have beautiful so easy is the keyframes so let's fit this back to our preview window so what we're gonna do now we're gonna set the timing we're gonna set the timing so that it will start drawing just when this hits the letter like this so we're gonna select all of this and move it backward until this is when it hits somewhere around here so we're gonna also pull in and make sure this is properly aligned yes of course so at this point right here i'm gonna hit t on the keyboard to reveal the opacity i'll set an opacity for this then come here and set the opacity to zero that way we have the ball disappearing once it hits the c point where it starts drawing so if you play back this now this is what you're gonna have you see that coming in and then hitting in. so what we're gonna do now is to toggle this timeline and make sure we activate the motion blur and make sure it's also activated for this uh, composition so now you have a kind of blurry movement like this as you can see right here so without the blurriness it can give you this so if you preview now this is what you have beautiful so what i'm gonna do is to set this color to the first color right here which is blue so i'll just select the color pick the eyedropper tool and then just pick the color straight ahead like this then i'm gonna simply duplicate this two more times so i'll set the color to these colors i have on the c so now what i'm gonna do is to offset this and make sure all hits at the point where this each color is drawing so let's see beautiful beautiful so this is perfect so what we're going to do next is to select the bottom c right here that's the first c we drew so at the point where this hit at the point where the last color hits that is here so we're gonna hit r on our keyboard to reveal the rotation property then we're gonna set a keyframe for the rotation then move it back a bit then we're going to move forward in time and rotate it backward as if there is an impact hitting the C to turn. Then we'll move forward in time a bit, just some few frames and rotate it forward again. Then we'll move back like this and then copy this last keyframe, Control C on your keyboard and paste it to where the time indicator is. Of course, easy is your keyframes. So if you preview now, this is what we have. Beautiful. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is to unhide the main text layer. So I'm going to repeat the same process to get exactly what I did on the C. I'm going to do it for the, each of this letter and come back to you. So after repeating that for each of the text, this is what I currently have. beautiful so what i'm gonna do now is to pick the pen tool again i'm gonna pick the pen tool and make sure i set the color to none then set a stroke color to any contrasting color so i'm gonna make sure no layer is selected i'm gonna draw a random shape right here Make sure you adjust the strokes. Adjust them to whatever you like. It is not written on stone. So after this, I'm going to go into the shape right here, content, stroke, and then make sure I change the taper settings. Then I'm going to add a trim part to this and animate it the way I animated the first one on the c so but if you want to know more about how to animate a trim part like this follow the video on the card above or check my description then after animating the trim part option on the random shape 
this is what I have. The additional thing I did here was to pre-compose then add a fill color and duplicate it into three and offset it on the timeline then also change the color to match what I had before on the text. Feel free to experiment more using the pen tool to create more random shape to make this pop as you like. So that is it guys. This is how you can create a stylish text animation in Adobe After Effects. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.